Hi guys, it's Sharon and today I'm going to be showing you my February favorites. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So I was born and raised in Los Angeles and living here my whole life, the weather has always been between 70 degrees to 80 degrees. It will go lower or higher for a few days, but it's it was barely noticeable up until last year. Last year, the winter was so cold. It was colder than New York. There were so many pictures on Instagram of people posting how much colder it was in Los Angeles than it was in New York. And with the winter being so cold, I started using a primer. I came across this YSL Blur Perfecting Primer. It's the only primer that I've tried that's super hydrating, but not too glossy, if that makes sense. It holds my makeup perfectly and it really saved my life because my makeup would just sit on my face and my face would look so dry. It really helped to blend everything together into your skin very beautifully. Another product I've been loving is this YSL Under Eye Brightener. I use this to replace my NARS Creamy Concealer because I just felt like the creamy concealer was too thick for my under eye. Well, I would definitely try this out if you want something super lightweight, very illuminating, and it's hydrating also. You just apply it with this brush and with your finger you blend it away and you don't even need a setting powder if you're having one of those no makeup days. But for a full face like what I have today, I definitely did use a setting powder. And now for setting powders. I've gone through so many. They were always either too heavy or they would be fine and then at the end of the day they would start breaking, like creasing. I finally jumped on the Laura Mercier translucent powder bandwagon and there's no going back. I apply this with a damp beauty blender on my under eye just to set my concealer very thin layer you could see on my full face routine video that I posted last week I will link it in the description box but this is definitely the best translucent setting powder you could ever use that's all I have to say and now for eye products I was at Walgreens one day I don't remember what I was shopping for but you know drugstore stuff and I was casually passing by the makeup aisle and I usually don't buy makeup from drugstores not because of the quality because honestly the quality is really good most of the time like I have some e.l.f. products, some NYX products, Revlon, Maybelline but usually when I buy those brands it's because someone I know let me try it on myself so that's how I always have to try a product before I buy it because if I don't like something, I'm not the type to keep it. I will return it. But I saw these and I literally got every color. I am obsessed. They are glittery and the color pigmentation is amazing. This side is like a liquid eyeshadow so you can just apply it with a regular brush. It comes with this spatula type of thing but I don't like to use that. On this side, it's like an eyeliner tip. But there's really so much you could do with these. You can check out my previous videos. I've used at least one different color in almost all of them. So I would definitely try them out. Another discovery I made recently, and this was actually thanks to Bretman. If you don't follow him on Instagram, he is so funny. Um, but on one of his makeup tutorials, he actually used a MAC blush as an eyeshadow and this is Fever from MAC. It's a blush but I got it to use it as an eyeshadow. I've actually started loving this and I used it to replace my Makeup Forever Artist Shadow. Honestly, it's like the same price but you get so much more with this one. With that being said, I also came across this blush, it's MAC also, it's called Full of Joy and it's this beautiful lavender pink and I've been using this all over my eye and on my cheeks so much. I'm obsessed with this color right now for my face. 
I actually have this blush on if you can I don't know if you can really tell but this is my favorite blush right now and my favorite eyeshadow and for my final product is actually going to be a choker so throughout January and February I wore so many different chokers I was just feeling that trend so much. I even watched the Spice Girls movie because I was like, oh my god, I'm so 90s right now. So I started wearing these chokers and people would always come up to me and be like, where did you get that? Oh my god, I love your choker. And they're literally just ribbons. So this is a Chanel ribbon. I'm not sure what this ribbon is, but I actually got them during the holiday because I bought a lot of perfumes and colognes for gift giving and the rest is history. So that's a great money saving tip. You don't have to get a Chanel ribbon obviously but you could totally go to anywhere they sell arts and crafts and just get a ribbon of your color choice and width and there you got your choker. For less than all these stores are selling them for because Jewelry is expensive nowadays. That was it for my February favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys use some of these products, if you have any recommendations for next month, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!